Welcome to this edition of Q&A with STAA. I'm John Chalesnik. Our question today comes from a college student who's getting ready to apply for the Jim Nance Award. He wanted some best advice. So here are six tips for applying for our upcoming Jim Nance Award. Number one, don't do a radio play-by-play -play call on a TV broadcast. Remember, there's a huge difference. In radio, you're describing the pictures. In television, your audience can already see the pictures, so all you need to do is provide the captions. So that's tip number one for applying for the Nance Award. Don't do radio play-by-play -play on a TV broadcast. Tip two, smile when you're on camera, especially as a sports reporter or a play-by-play -play broadcaster for television. You've got a fun job. Smile. In connecting with your audience, it's the difference between this and this. A smile goes so far, and you can hear a smile in your voice. It'll improve your delivery as well as your on-camera uh, appearance and, and your warmth and relatability. The third tip for applying for the Jim Nance Award, be a good writer. Whether you are... Uh, writing a script for a TV package, or the open for your play-by-play -play broadcast, or a segment on a sports talk show, or a sports update. The easiest and the fastest way for a young sports broadcaster to give themselves an advantage, or at least make themselves competitive with veteran sportscasters in the job market, is to be a great writer. Write lean write for the spoken word rather than the written word. Try to avoid cliches. Those things are, are all traits of great writers. So being a great writer is tip number three when applying for the Jim Nance Award. Number four, when you're doing basketball play-by-play, -play, don't say no good on missed shots. Describe how the shot was missed. Too hard, short, off the back iron, things like that. My fifth tip for applying for the Nance Award, you know, and I, this has become so common in recent years, don't send pardon the interruption style clips of you on a television sports debate show. One, it doesn't take any ability. Uh, it, it takes knowledge, of course, and hopefully personality. That's going to make it better. But nobody's going to be hiring you to do a sports debate show coming right out of college. Those jobs go to people who are already established journalists and broadcasters. So, it, frankly, colleges that are providing those on-air opportunities are wasting their students' time. It could be de better devoted to teaching other things. But for all those reasons, don't put PTI-style clips on your Nance application. And finally, tip number six when applying for the Jim Nance Award, be energetic on your TV packages. It's sports. It's fun. Don't tell me nearly one million people crowded the streets of Philadelphia to celebrate the Eagles Super Bowl championship. No, smile. Be energetic. Nearly a thousand or nearly a million crazy Philadelphians, fired up Philadelphians, crowded Broad Street to show appreciation for their NFL championship winning team, their Super Bowl winning team. So be energetic on your TV packages. Those are my six tips for applying for the Jim Nance Award. Uh, good luck with your application and thank you for your question. If you would like to have a question answered here on Q&A with STAA, send us an email qa at staatalent.com qa at staatalent.com